round two of the 2015 F2 World Championship Series in Tonsberg, Norway, was one of the epic races race fans had waited for. Already at the warm-up practice, Bimba Sjöholm, who qualified third, had a quite heavy crash. But her team managed to get the boat together again, just in time for the race start. You know, we had a lot of work between the free practice and the race. Uh, but we were able to deal with the stress and to fix everything, so I was prepared to start. I'm very, very happy for the help today. So everybody was lined up in front of thousands of fans. The start and Paul Setter Hagen and Österberg on second completely missed it. So Bimba Sjöholm was out front as well as Pierre Landin, who started 11th and was already second at the first turn. But Hagen and Edin could catch him again in turn two. Bimba Sjöholm, meanwhile, took the lead. Behind her was pole setter Stefan Hagen closing up on Landin, but the championship leader could save his third spot and was now closing the gap to second place Eric Edin. And shortly after, they changed positions. Landin on second spot was now starting to chase the leader Bimba Sjöholm. Landin was quicker and he was pushing hard, which also led to mistakes. 12 Yeah, up there, the far end there and uh, there. And um, uh, it's my mistake. I wasn't concentrating enough. Finally, Landin managed to pass Sjöholm and he went into the lead of the Norwegian Grand Prix. Meanwhile, also a hard battle for third was going on between Erik Edin and Stefan Hagen. Hagen, who was determined to gain back the positions he lost at the start, when all of a sudden the German got engine problems, so Johann Oesterberg and Matthew Perfreyman could close up dramatically. But Freeman could pass and took fourth and Österberg himself got under pressure by teammate Tobias Söderling. But also Österberg passed Hagen and went up to fifth. At quite the same time, Sjöholm's engine lost power and she lost second spot to Edin and was now under hard pressure of Matthew Perfreyman, who once again raced through the field like there is no tomorrow. Sjöholm was losing ground and went back to 7th when Stefan Hagen closed up on her and misjudged the turn. Both Hagen and Sjöholm could continue the race but didn't score championship points. Pierre Landin was in comfortable lead when three laps before the checkered flag, Matthew Perfreyman saw his chance to catch second place Eric Edin. So Edin finished third at the end. I got caught by Matthew. I was struggling with some, some people I was going to lap uh, and lost a lot of speed. I thought I was going to pass them but they didn't give me enough space. Uh, and Matt, uh, Matt saw it, he took the chance and uh, he, he was good that saw the chance and he took it. Matthew Perfreyman gained his second podium finish in his second ever Grand Prix start, so everybody will have this newcomer on the list now. I think the next race is Campione. Yeah, so I believe it's rough there as well, so believe me, hopefully me and Pierre can have a very good race there. But well done to Pierre, and I just need to thank my team. They've worked effortlessly for the last three days after problem after problem, but I'm glad I can put it on the podium for them. The race winner Pierre Landin moved up from 11th to 1st and was even more happy about his second success in the 2015 F2 Championship. I had an incredible start. The engine just flew away, the, the propeller I use is phenomenal and this boat is perfect for starts. It, 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 was, uh, it was a nice race, it was really nice. The Grand Prix of Norway 2015 was full of action and fantastic racing. Pierre Landin extended his points lead, but Matthew Perfreyman could become his hardest challenger in the rest of the season. So stay tuned for the next race and keep on following F2 on YouTube, Facebook and F2WorldChamp.com. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow.